Horses are on the track following our official outrider, Sonny Dodd of Monticello, Illinois, here at DuCoin for the first half of the Daily Double. Win, play, show, exacto wagering also available for Illinois-bred two-year-old trotters. Scratch the seven and the nine, Inherited Culture and Fox Valley Mojo are both sick. Tony Morgan drives the one, Saluki charge card, Andy Miller drives the six, Sam and Jerry. And finally, a reminder that number two out of the box has a change of equipment wearing the trotting hobbles today. Let's meet the starters for the first. Number one Saluki charge card is owned by Robert Silberberg of Farmington Hills, Michigan. Jim Eaton of Crete, Illinois. Trained by Jim Eaton. The driver is Troy, Ohio, native Tony Morgan. Number two out of the box is owned by Ray Hanna of Altamont, Dick Corson of St. Peter, and Bryce Geiler of Kenmundy, Illinois. Trained by Ray Hanna, the driver, Dale Heitman. Number three, Mrs. McMurtry, owned by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield. Mike Williams and Drew Pierce of Akakeek, Maryland. Trained by Buddy Simpson, and Buddy is in the bike. Number four is Gum Corner Vicky, owned by Delbert and Ruth Burkett of Ellery, by James and Beverly Hauser of Mansfield. Trained by Delbert Burkett, the driver, Connell Willis. Number five, Crimson King, is owned by John, Linda, and Scott Howard of Sherman. Trained by John Howard, the driver, Dirk Simpson. Number six will be Sam and Jerry, owned by Sam and Ellen Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable of Downers Grove, Jerry Graham of Salem, his son J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, trained by Leon Smith, the driver Andy Miller. Number seven, Inherited Culture is scratched. Number eight, Big Sting, is owned by Gary Northrup of Winchester, trained by Sean Walker, the driver is Ron Marsh. Number nine, Fox Valley Mojo is scratched. And number 10, Checkout Lane is owned by the Doug Ackerman Stables Incorporated of LaPorte, Indiana. Trained and driven by Doug Ackerman. Right now, here they come for the first race at DeCoin's Magic Mile. They are off and trotting. Big Sting goes out for the lead out of the boxes there toward the inside. A gum corner, Vicky, then Mrs. McMurtry, who just made a break into the first turn. Out of the box, leads it as they go toward the quarter mile mark. He's on top by a length and a half. Gum corner, Vicky, will go second by a length. Big Sting is racing in third. Saluki charge card is fourth against the rail. And then Crimson King is fifth. Sam and Jerry is racing in sixth. Checkout Lane moves up on the outside from seventh. And Mrs. McMurtry is eighth and last. And now Checkout Lane just broke stride. Opening quarter in 30 and two-fifths. Out of the box. Leads it by one length. And here comes Gum Corner Vicky up on the outside. A neck separating those top two. A gap of two lengths to Big Sting. Another two and a half back to Saluki Charge Card. Flanked by Sam and Jerry. And then Crimson King, Mrs. McMurtry and Checkout Lane is at the back. And here comes a move by Sam and Jerry. Sam and Jerry is trotting very fast up on the outside to get the lead from Gum Corner Vicky. Big Sting moves up third. Out of the box is shuffled fourth. He's four lengths off the lead. And then Crimson King followed by Saluki Charge Card. They got the half in 101 and one. Sam and Jerry just broke stride after grabbing the lead. Gum Corner Vicky leads it once more by three parts of a length. Big Sting is on the outside second. Out of the box is third, flanked by Crimson King. And Saluki Charge Card is against the rail, five lengths off the lead. At the three quarters, Gum Corner Vicky leading Big Sting by a half length. Then Crimson King outside of out of the box and Saluki Charge Card past the three-quarter mile mark. They were there in 132 and 1. They turn for home. Gum Corner Vicky leading Big Sting. Crimson King joins them on the far outside. Out of the box is back toward the rail. He needs an open lane. He can't find one yet. Crimson King trots down the center of the track to challenge Gum Corner Vicky for the lead. Big Sting between those two, then out of the box and Saluki charge card a wide fifth. Crimson King in the center of the track trots up to get the lead from Gum Corner Vicky out of the box toward the rail in third. Crimson King will win it. Crimson King takes the opener by two lengths for Dirk Simpson. Gum Corner Vicky was second and out of the box, finished in third. The time for the mile was 2.02 and three-fifths. Into the winner's circle, owned by John Linda and Scott Howard of Sherman, trained by John Howard and driven by Fairfield, Illinois native Dirk Simpson. Here's the unofficial winner. Now the official winner, number five, Crimson King. Crimson King is a two-year-old gelded son of Valley Victor, a former Illinois trotting stallion of the year. Out of Dangerous Beauty by Armbro Charger, himself a seven-time Illinois trotting stallion of the year. Bred in a partnership including Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights. 
as the favorite picks up the victory and scores the first win of his career in his seventh lifetime start. Congratulations to trainer John Howard and Southern Illinois native Dirk Simpson with the winning drive. 